yeah, Russia, uh, this was an interesting story. So, uh, you know, Russia, really for 20 years now, uh, you know, once, once the internet was launched and uh, Russia became one of the most sophisticated players in the world at a cyber espionage. Uh, you know, the other, of course, very sophisticated players, China. And it's likely the United States is better than both of them. But, of course, we in the United States learn about, uh, you know, Chinese and Russian hanks, hacks into the U.S. system. We don't really advertise, and I don't think these regimes advertise, when the U.S. hacks into their systems. But anyway, Russia's been a very sophisticated player in uh, cyber espionage and, and has been operating cyber, a variety of different cyber espionage um, uh, programs against the United States for at least 20, for, for the last 20 years really with the birth of the internet. Well, this week, the United States basically shut down a, a massive uh, a Russian cyber espionage operation. Um, it, it's an it's a, it's a operation that's been running, this particular operation has been running for 20 years, uh, targeted at stealing sensitive government materials from the United States, but not just the United States. This is a an operation uh, that has been um, that has been focused on uh, Western countries generally, uh, European allies, and others. Uh, the Justice Department FBI um, uh, shut it down. Um, uh, basically, uh, the Russians. Now, I don't understand too much about this. I'm just reading off of news stories, but they, they, you know, they they were using a malware that entered into the U.S. systems and into European systems and basically fed a lot of information through a variety of different American servers, not to look suspicious, ultimately uh, to Russian servers um, in, in Russia. Well, uh, the U.S., uh, I think, knew about this, has known about this for years, and for a long time was using it to feed the Russians bad information um, and uh, to feed them false information without the Russians really knowing it. So this is like a, like a double, uh, uh, you know, a... a, a a, uh, a spy that it seems to be working for the Russians, but is actually working for the Americans. This is how this malware ultimately fang functioned. Ultimately, this week, they remotely, uh, uh, you know, completely disabled the malware, completely disabled the entire operation. It's hard to tell why they did it now. Um, maybe because the Russians had figured out that they uh, that this was being used against them. And it was actually not providing them with useful information, but providing them with information the United States wanted them to have. Um, but uh, they basically uh, disentangled this, uh, have shut down the malware. Uh, this is also, um, uh, this is, was directly linked to the Russian government that it's been spying on the United States. Um, and uh, my, my guess is the NSA basically neutralized uh, this uh, this cyber espionage tool that the Russian had. But again, it, it, the U.S. has known about this for years now and I'm sure has been using this against the Russians uh, during this period of time. So I found that a, an interesting story. I, I'm reading a book right now about a lot of the um, s cyber espionage, both on the part of uh, the Chinese and on the part of the Russians. So I'll be talking more about that in the weeks and months uh, to come. Uh, Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.